So now what I have are a bunch of four foot long dowels and I'm going to cut them down to 28 inches. So some of them are kind of no, not too straight, but we're going to see if we can correct that a little bit here. So anyway, I've got a mark at 28 inches. Put that right there. And a mark it right there. You can cut these with a knife. So you just kind of score it a little bit. And then you can snap them right off. We'll trim up the edges. Set that up. Later on, we're going to talk about how we um, how we put the knock on and how we want to make sure that we're going to take advantage of the spine of the arrow of the wooden shaft. The spine, or in other words the stiffness of the arrow, is controlled by the direction of the grain of the wood. And if you can see here, you, you can see that there's a grain right here, and the way this arrow shaft was cut out, we want to make sure that you can see it, fe it feathers out here, so we want to make sure that always goes away from us. If for some reason the arrow breaks, we want to make sure that it's pointing away from us when it breaks. So we'll put the knock in, in other words, that goes under the string on this side right here, and we'll want this end to go ahead and be the point. So then, also, when we put the knock on, we want to make sure that the arrow stiffness is going to be parallel to the bow. Well, the spine controls how much the arrow will bend. And when it flies through the air, it wobbles like this. And we want to make sure it is, and that kind of affects accuracy, so we want to make sure that that the stiffness is put in to counteract that bending. So anyway, we'll talk about it more later. Now I'm going to go ahead and sharpen the ends of each of, this, of the shafts so that we will be able to put a field point or a rubber blunt on the end of it so that it'll either stick into your target or it'll bounce off of it. So you can see there we put just a just take a little it's like a pencil sharpener. So we're going to do that to all of them. It's just like sharpening a pencil. I don't know if you guys know how to sharpen pencils. Maybe colored pencils. I don't know. Your mom and dad probably have used pencil sharpeners before. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to, after we've cut them to length, put the tapers on them. I'm going to go ahead and sand them lightly just to remove any mostly just stuff that's on there from handling them. Because we're going to get ready to prime them. Or we're not prime them, but rather than put some stain on them.
So now, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to stain these. We're going to put some color on them. So we're going to use uh, Ipswich Pine stain. Your dad can show you what all about stain. We're just going to make put a little color on the shafts. You don't have to do this, but it's something that I like to do. So you can see that we're just going to give them a little bit different color. And we're going to shaft. We can change that to all of them. I don't know. There you go. See, it doesn't change it much, but it's going to give it a little bit of color. And each of these is going to take the stain just a little bit differently. Some of it, it soaks right in. And others, not so much. See, you can see there. So, we're just we're going to do that to all of them. So anyway, I got done staining them, and I'll show those to you, get rid of those gloves. I don't know if you can see those there. Yeah, we got them all stained. So anyway, I'll let those dry, probably, probably overnight, and tomorrow I'll go ahead and start dipping them in to put a sealer on them. So, So here we are, guys and gals, ready to put some finish on the shafts that we stained yesterday. I'm going to use this stuff here, but your dad can probably tell you that when you put stain on wood, that some of it might rub off, and I don't want it to contaminate my reservoir that has some of this finish in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I, I put a little bit on this rag and I'm going to rub over this. That way I'll put a very light coat of finish on it. And then I'm going to put I'm going to use these little things that I use to hang them and I'm going to screw that on there on the end. And then I'm going to finish putting the coating on the rest of it. All I want to do is just put a light coating on it. And then, and then I'm going to hang it up over here. Okay, guys and gals, now we're going to go ahead and put the second full coat of sealer on the arrow shafts. So I've got the sealer in this tube and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I put these on so I can hang them and I'm going to just dip them down in there. Coat them up really good and I'll just go ahead and hold them here and let them, let them drip. It's still going to drip a little bit, but we're going to hang it up. Well, hi guys and gals again. Now we are ready to start painting the ends. We're going to put a white band on the end of the arrows, but first we... Uh, and take the arrows that have dried, we put the, the second coat on. I want to go ahead and just take 
and remove some of the uh, roughness of the stain or in the, uh, end of the end of the coating that we put on there, the finish. So I'm just rubbing it with a little steel wool. I'm not going to do it real hard because I don't want to take that finish off. But I want to just kind of take the rough spots off of it. I'm going to do that to all those. Then we're going to go ahead and mark each of the arrows at 10 inches from the back. I'm going to put a little mark on them. And then in the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint them. I'm going to show you how we paint those. We're just going to, it's very similar to the way that we put the, the way that we put the, uh, the coating on. But uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dip them in some paint. So anyway, let me finish this last one and then I'll mark them and, and then I'll show you how we go ahead and dip them. So. Anyway, that's the last one.